Well, here we are. It's the first day of uh, our elk season here, archery elk season. We uh, hunted most of the day, got on a, a good bull bugling, come out right at dark. We had a really good windstorm today. We heard some big loud crash, sound like a gunshot going off. I knew it was a tree, but I didn't know it was going to cross the road. It was a, actually, it's more than one tree. It's a great big tanker tree and another big tree that's hanging high here and another little tree. So I've been working on this for one, one hour so far. It's late. Staff's got to get to work tomorrow. It's Sunday night. Looks like we still got a lot of work ahead of us. Hopefully I can get it done. I'm a little worried about this one here. I might have to climb up there and drop it and cut us a little trail out of here. So cross your fingers and let's hope that we can, uh, that, I, that my saw can get through this. Finally can get out to get home. Took a hour and 15 minutes. Not bad. Hopefully there's no more trees the rest of the way out. That would just be a little overboard. But I guess stay tuned. We'll see if there is. Just called a bull in. Just hammered him. Come into the Montana decoys. Twenty yards. Sorry we didn't get that kill on shot, but <sighs> I had to actually shoot over Steph to kill that bull. It's right there. Three years. This is the third year. I went two years with cows. I just called in a. It's a. I think it's a four point. He's just a little raghorn, but we are out of elk meat in the freezer, and that bull is going home with us. 
We're gonna give him a little bit of time. Stay with us. Down right there, you got him? You got him? Right there. Big bull down, baby. TMO. He didn't go 60 yards. Oh, he's still dying off a little bit. We only gave him like a minute, two minutes. Trophy taker, Tro trophy taker's new uh, shuttle T-lock broadheads just hammered that bull. Matthews DXT, trophy taker fallaways. Put a bull on the ground, baby. Woo! Yes. The bull came in behind us. We got the Montana elk decoys. Just point right here, point right through the trees. Right there, right there, right there. Come down a little bit, zoom in. Right, there's the Montana decoys. That bull was coming right to them. Come up right behind them. We actually, <clears throat> we actually wanted the bulls. Last weekend we bugled in a big herd bull, but the wind switched. And he bailed on us. And then we just left it alone for five days. <sighs> September 5th, this is the earliest I've ever killed a bull in my hunting spot. We expected the bulls to come from downhill, up out of the canyon, up onto these benches. But this bull, obviously, I usually set up where this bull came from. We got some more meat in the freezer. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Well, here we go, guys. We just grabbed the decoys. We, we showed you he died right here. We got on a little, he didn't go far. It's, it's dark, we're gonna get the flashlights out. There is blood everywhere. I made a perfect shot, though it looks like those broadheads are gonna just do us <laughs> wonders this season. There's a nice little raghorn four by four for a public land bull. That's gonna be a lot of meat. Good eating meat. Come on over here and let's check him out. You guys see that? It's getting a little dark, but... Oh, shit. Got a little air in him. He's got a cool looking drop tine right here. Drop his front two brow tines. Oh, he's a five. He's a one, two, three, four by five. I didn't see that. Nice, young, good eating bull right here. We just ran out of elk burger two days ago at home. And the whole time we were sitting in Idaho, I was thinking, man, I just gotta fill the freezer. So that's all it's about for us here at Trophy Mountain Outdoors. You know, trophies come around every now and then. And I, I, if it was a branched antlered bull, I told everybody I was gonna shoot a branched antlered bull. And here I got one, a nice four by five. Uh, we haven't looked at the footage. She might have got something, a glimpse of the horns or something coming over right behind her back. And I don't recommend it for novice hunters. I've been hunt, bow hunting for over 25 years uh, and, and made the shot. It was straight on, probably 15 yards uphill. And as you can see, he's, he's expired within 60, 65 yards, so. TMO, baby. The best public land. Western big game videos. Thanks for joining us. It's been a good start to the season.